Americans enjoy hunting both of their hog varieties. There are the wild boar, known as the ridgeback, and the wild pigs, domesticated breeds gone feral. The wild boar grow to around 300 pounds and have a reputation for being aggressive. The feral pigs are much, much bigger. Uh, later on we'll be going out after some feral hogs. We've got some property on Bayou Portage that has uh, been right with them lately. And uh, we'll go see if we can see a few of those and uh, try and call in a couple of coyotes. We need to walk through the swamp to a high seat next to a wallow. First, I'm given my cowboy-style rifle. It's a lever-action Marlin 3030, one of the guns that won the West. Pretty standard American lever-action. Uh, loads in here, lever here. So, uh, just cowboy-style to load it. Lever out, lever in, it's loaded. Hammer's back. Okay, it's ready to go. Pop that, uh, that is the safety. John's is less cowboy, more militia. It's a modern version of the SKS, a forerunner to Mikhail Kalashnikov's AK-47, ideal for pigs, especially decadent American capitalist running dog scum pigs. Semi-auto, absolutely. Yeah, uh, fully autos. Uh, I don't like Swiss pigs. <laughs> With a slightly sicky feeling that Kylas are hiding behind every tree, we head off. John says that the pigs are not scared by the torch beam. They can even be attracted by it, though their senses of smell and hearing are excellent. You'll find a lot of times uh, tracks along sides of these saloos uh, where they've come into water, wallow uh, or water. And uh, oftentimes if you check the clarity of the water, you can tell how lately they've been in. If it's very, very cloudy, you know, they've been in wallowing, cooling down from, yeah. from the hot sun recently. Uh, this water uh, looks fairly clear. That's why you're not whispering. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm imagining they haven't been through here in a bit. We'll check another couple of wallows and uh, try and spot some tracks on the way back. A few hundred yards in and we get the unmistakable whiff of pig pee. John has been putting some old burger buns down and we can see they have been to this boggy burger king. Suddenly there's a lot of noise and something is coming towards us, fast. It's moving really fast to be an armadillo. Both of us chamber around and raise our rifles. I feel a wave of immense relief, tinged with disappointment when an armadillo breaks cover. So we just came up on the hamburger stall for the pigs on the ground here. And then John slammed off the light and we could hear rustling in the bushes. And your heart starts racing and thank goodness it's an armadillo. <laughs> I really thought we'd be in touch with the pig there, but I'm quite relieved we're not. Ha! Armadillo, shmarmadillo. Good job there isn't anything really terrifying out there. America has big pigs. Really big pigs. And not all of them are called Bubba. Here is one shot with a handgun by an 11-year-old lad in Alabama. It weighed more than a thousand pounds. I am six foot four inches and can be easily impressed by a five pound armadillo. Imagine how the kid felt. John and I stalk through the swamp, which has a gumbo-like consistency. Gumbo is local stew that tastes exactly like it sounds. Soon we reach an old duck hide, or blind in American. So we've got a good 150 yards of visibility to take a shot on them. As soon as we see them break those bushes, we'll hold off. We'll give them a little time to get as close in front of us as we can. Just stay trained on them the whole time, keep our scopes on them. As soon as they get close enough that we're comfortable taking that shot, we'll put lights on them and fire away and see what we've got. We sit and wait. And we wait. Then John reckons it's time to go and see the boar face to face. After a little scare earlier on, the approaching armadillo, John now thinks it's a good idea we go after them on foot. Brilliant. Another wild, big hamburger joint, but this one looks undisturbed. John reckons we'll have to put tonight down as unlucky. So we got to the end point, feeling a bit defeated by duck, a bit beaten by boar, they hadn't touched the bait, but you cannot beat the excitement of stalking up on something that could easily be stalking up on you. But it's, not a, it's not a lion or a tiger, it's a big, but it's a great big thing in a very, very dark woods. It is absolutely brilliant. Above all, this part of the United States is truly gorgeous. 
For more on hunting with John, visit www.doublegumguide.com or the landowner's website, www.bayutesh-huntingpreserve.com.